Whether you want to finally finish that 5k, train up for a half marathon, or just make it through your next bear class without feeling like a puddle of mush after those first few reps, there's one aspect of fitness you'll want to focus on, building endurance. The main question is why do you want to gain endurance? Though you might associate endurance with running, biking, or swimming mile after mile, there are actually two types of endurance training. Cardiorespiratory endurance, which refers to your ability to perform sustained cardio-intensive activities like a marathon, not a sprint. Muscular endurance, meanwhile, refers to your muscle's ability to exert force repeatedly or for extended period. Think long planks or endless squat pulses, which in particular you focus on might depend on your specific fitness goals, like completing a race or sculpting your physique, but building both cardiorespiratory and muscular stamina will help you feel more capable both in your workouts and in everyday life. Everything from climbing the subway or train station stairs on your morning commute, to picking up your kids, to sitting with proper posture at your desk, it's easier. Increasing your stamina benefits you long after you complete your last rep or final mile too. In fact, maintaining endurance can boost your metabolism and reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease and all-cause mortality. How do you actually build endurance though? Put the following trainer back tips to work and you'll be long hauling it with ease in no time. One, start with aerobic exercise. Aerobic exercise is any activity that gets your blood pumping and large muscle groups working. It's also known as cardiovascular activity. Examples of aerobic exercise include brisk walking, swimming, heavy cleaning or gardening, running, cycling, and playing soccer. Begin with aerobic exercises and aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity per week. 2. Interval training. Though progressively increasing the duration of your cardio workouts can help you build endurance, another surefire way to make your inner engine more efficient is with intervals. For example, alternate between jogging and sprinting. Too often, endurance is sacrificed for simple, heavy strength training or steady state cardio. To be a well-rounded athlete, adding endurance work to your everyday fitness routine, as studies show that sessions of sprint interval training increase aerobic performance and endurance capacity. 3. Long Slow Distance Training or LSD This is a form of aerobic endurance training used in sports like running, rowing, skiing, and cycling. LSD training is a form of continuous training performed at a constant pace at low to moderate intensity over an extended distance or duration. The moderate training intensity of LSD is effective in improving endurance and maximum oxygen uptake in individuals who are undertrained or moderately trained. These sessions help improve your body's ability to sustain effort over an extended period. There are many long, slow distance exercises one can easily implement into his or her training schedule. For beginners and recreational skiers, I would recommend long and easy Nordic walking workouts. Take your poles and ask your friends to join you and go out in the forest for a one to three hour walk or runs which are typically done at an easy pace, maybe one to three minutes per mile slower than a runner's 10 pace. Four, cross training. Cross training is athletic training in sports other than the athlete's usual sport. The goal is improving overall performance. It takes advantage of the particular effectiveness of one training method to negate the shortcomings of another. By including a variety of exercises in your routine, you reap several benefits and you gain excess improved endurance. Some examples of cross-training activities are cycling, running, swimming, yoga, pilot, rowing, and many more. To do cross-training, you have to interchange these different workout and exercises to reap its benefits. 5. Strength Training Strength training is the unsung hero of endurance. It is, also known as weight training or resistance training, involves the performance of physical exercises that are designed to improve strength and endurance. It is often associated with the lifting of weights. By enhancing muscle strength, it improves the efficiency of energy utilization, delays fatigue, and fortifies the body's ability to sustain prolonged efforts, ultimately boosting endurance for activities ranging from running to daily tasks. Examples of strength training which you can perform for effective endurance are lifting weights, working with resistance bands, heavy gardening such as digging and shoveling, climbing stairs and hill walking. Sticks Breathing techniques Mastering proper breathing techniques is the secret weapon for endurance. It optimizes oxygen intake, reduces fatigue, and supports sustained effort. By enhancing respiratory efficiency, these techniques contribute significantly to building and extending endurance, whether in sports, workouts, or everyday activities. 7. Proper nutrition. Proper nutrition is the fuel for endurance. It provides the necessary energy, nutrients, and hydration to sustain physical activity, delay fatigue, and optimize performance. A well-balanced diet ensures that the body has the resources it needs for prolonged efforts, making nutrition a cornerstone for gaining and maintaining endurance in various activities. 
Fuel your body with a balanced diet that includes carbohydrates, proteins, healthy fats, and plenty of hydration. Carbs are especially important for endurance activities. 8. Consistent training You can't start training and expect to see a result in a week or two. Regular, consistent exercise is key to building endurance. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate-intensity aerobic activity per week. We have already mentioned the typical exercises which you can perform for a proper strong endurance. 9. Adequate rest It's during rest that the body repairs, rebuilds, and adapts to the stresses of training. Quality sleep, in particular, plays a crucial role in hormone regulation and muscle recovery, contributing significantly to the body's ability to endure and perform optimally during physical activities. Rest is not just a break. It's an essential component in the journey to building and sustaining endurance. Allow your body to recover with proper sleep and rest days between intense workouts. Overtraining can lead to fatigue and decreased endurance. 10. Mental toughness. Endurance is not just physical, it's mental too. Mental toughness is the silent force behind endurance. It's the resilience that pushes you through physical challenges, helping you override fatigue and push past limits. By cultivating a strong mental game, you develop the ability to stay focused, maintain motivation, and endure discomfort, ultimately unlocking your full potential in various endurance activities. Endurance isn't just physical, it's a triumph of the mind. 11. Posture and form. Maintaining proper posture and form during physical activities optimizes energy efficiency. It reduces the risk of injury and ensures that muscles work effectively. By minimizing unnecessary strain on the body, good posture and form contribute significantly to enduring prolonged efforts, making them essential elements in the quest for enhanced endurance in any activity. If you don't have endurance means you will miss a lot in terms of workouts or sports. Follow the tips given and prepare to reap the best benefit. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and tap the notification icon to not miss out on other interesting content from Fitness Label. We have other videos in our channel. Choose the left or right and enjoy.